Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install the Botania mod in Minecraft 1.15.2. This is actually a really cool mod. It's a natural magic mod that involves some crops and things like that. But one of the things that I like most about this mod in comparison to a lot of other very you know, complex mods out there, is that this mod has the Lexia Botania, which is very, very important because it's a documentation book that kind of walks you through most of the mod, something that none of these other mods out there really have, and that's one of the things I really, really like. If you're going to make a complicated mod like this, you've got to create a guide that goes right along with the mod that you can access in game. So awesome to Lexia, or to Botania, creating the Lexia Botania, or Lexica Botania, I don't know, I'm probably saying it wrong, but a book that actually walks you through it. This is a really cool mod. There's a lot to it, but overall, it's basically like it says, a natural magic mod that's based kind of around plants and things like that. It's really, really cool. So yeah, but it's updated to 1.15.2 now, one of the first big, big mods. Like I would put this on the same level as Tinker's Construct, this mod. And the fact that it's now upgraded to 1.15.2 is awesome. I think 1.15.2 is going to end up being a great modded sort of, you know, platform. And hopefully it'll be easy to upgrade to 1.16 after that. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. What you all need to know is that we are installing the Botania mod today in Minecraft 1.15.2. But first, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get an incredible 24-hour DDoS direct in Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you're looking for a great server that has incredible performance, DNOS protection, and is super, super easy to set up and use, go to Apex. Again, the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an awesome Minecraft server for you and your friends to love and enjoy. So let's go ahead, get Botania installed in 1.15.2. Now there's going to be a lot of downloading. We're going to have to download four things here at first, and then we're going to be able to move on and actually get this mod installed, but you can't install the mod without downloading the things, so let's do it. The first thing we're going to download is actually the second link down below, and that's going to be Botania here. This is the main mod itself, and when you click on the link in the description, it's going to take you here to the main download page for the Botania mod. Come over here to the right-hand sidebar and scroll down until you see the Minecraft 1.15 section under Recent Files. When you do, you'll have this basically kind of version of Botania here. Come over and click the purple download button to the right of that version. Then it will take us off to where after a few seconds, the Botania mod will automatically download in the bottom left of our screen. You will need to keep this file on Google Chrome. It's safe to keep as long as it says Botania in the title. On Mozilla Firefox, you need to save it in the center of your screen. It's safe to do that as long as it has Botania in the title. Now, we aren't done downloading, of course. We need to download the Patchouli mod. This is what allows that Lexica Botania to actually show up in game, so this is pretty important. What we want to do is, again, same thing. Go to the third link down below. It's going to take you here, and then come over here to the right-hand sidebar. Scroll down until you see Minecraft 1.15, and then you'll see this, Pacholia, Pacholu, I don't know how to say it, but it's this mod as the most recent version here. Click the purple download button to the right of that, and then it will automatically take us off. Again, it's going to download after a few seconds, and it is safe to keep it as long as it has this Pacholu, I, again, that that word right there in the title. If it does, come down here to the bottom left and press keep. Almost like Firefox, save it in the streamer screen as long as it has that in the title. we got to do it one more time. You guys know the process by now, though. Go to the fourth link down below that's going to take you here to the Curios API. Come over here to the right-hand side, scroll down, find the Minecraft 1.15 section, click the top of, or the top version above that, click the purple download button on that version. Takes us off here. It is safe to keep this as long as it has Curios API in the title in the bottom left on Google Chrome. Save it on the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox as long as it has again Curios API in the title. Okay, now I feel like a broken record there. There's one more thing we have to download, but the process is luckily a bit different, and that is going to be Forge. Forge is what makes all these mods, Botania, and then its compatibility mods that we downloaded, Pacholuli, Pacholuli, and Curios API work together and basically makes them all oral work in Minecraft, so we need Forge to do that. If you go to the, I think it's at this point, fifth link down below, something like that, it's going to take you here. It's basically our Forge link in the description, and this is our in-depth tutorial on getting Forge. Now, I am going to go through installing Forge in this video, but we go through a a lot of the issues and things that you might have with Forge in this tutorial. So if you have issues, come back here, go through this tutorial, and it will fix those. But nevertheless, what we want to do is click on this green Download Forge button. That's going to take us off to Forge's official website, where we want to see if it says MC 1.15.2 there. If it does, awesome. If it doesn't, you can make it say that by clicking on the 1.15 section in the left-hand sidebar, and then clicking on 1.15.2. Then MC 1.15.2 will appear right here. Now what we want to do is come under Download Latest, click on the Installer button there, 
And when we click on that installer button, it's going to go ahead and take us off to add focus. Now stop. Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Don't click a single thing. Nope. Your download is not ready. It is lying to you. Stop. Your download's not ready. Breathe. It's okay. Your download's not ready. And now it is because in the top right, there's a red skip button. It takes about five seconds of being on this page to have that red skip button appear. But when you see that red skip button in the top right, it's the only thing you want to click on this page. So click that red skip button in the top right. And then in the bottom left, we will see that Forge does appear. If it does say Forge in the bottom left, you're going to go ahead and click Keep on that file. If it doesn't, just click Discard and click that red skip button in the top right. Same thing goes for Mozilla Firefox. If it's got Forge in the title, you're safe to save the file. Now, finally, we can minimize our browser. And these are hidden for a second, so give me one quick second. There we go. Made those appear. My computer's being weird recently, but nevertheless, here is Botania here. There is the Curios API. Here is the Patchoulio. Pat Patchouli. I'm going to stop saying it. I'm just going to call it the patch. And then we do have the Forge right here, the Forge basically mod loader. So we're going to be starting off with Forge. To do that, go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. But what if you don't have Java here? Or what if these don't even look like these Java coffee cup logos and instead they look like book files or zip files or something like that? Well, we have a solution for you. And what you want to do is go to the description down below and you'll find this. This is our tutorial on how to download and install Java 4 Minecraft mods. Botania, being a Minecraft mod, needs this version of Java. Go through here, get it installed, and then you should be good to go. However, if you still can't open up Forge, no worries. You need to make the jar fix or run the jar fix to make all the jar files in your computer work with Java once again. Basically, it meshes those together, links them together, the jar files and Java, and makes it work perfectly. Now, finally, we can minimize our browser here, and on our desktop, we can right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java TM Platform SE Binary, and click OK. Then it is going to go ahead and open up the mod system installer here. All you want to do here is click on Install Client and click OK. It's now going to go through, download some things, do some stuff, and set up Forge for a Minecraft 1.15.2 so we can finally install these mods. I feel like most of this tutorial so far has just been downloading, but finally we have installed something, so successfully installed Client Profile Forge for version 1.15.2. Awesome. Go ahead and click OK. Now what we want to do to to install Botania, the Curios API, and Patch. What we want to do is open up Minecraft, right? So let's go ahead and open up Minecraft. Once you're in this Minecraft launcher here, you don't want to just smack that play button. Hold up. <laughs> what you want to do is you want to click that little arrow to the left of the play button, that little drop down arrow, and click on the Forge profile there. Click on that and click play. But if you don't have that Forge profile, what do you do? Well, no worries. We've, of course, got a solution. Go to the Installations tab up here at the top of Minecraft. Once you're here, what you want to do is click on the plus new button. See that plus new button there? Click on that, and then you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our incredible network Minecraft server. It is the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. We have Grief Protected Survival, Medieval Survival with 30 custom quests, Aquatic Survival with a slash shop based economy, Skyblock with Wince Gems and OP enchantments, and Factions just launched with incredible custom enchants, 1.8 PvP, raiding, TNT, cannoning, all that is encouraged. So come play this. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Now what we want to do is come over to the version here where it says latest release 1.15.2. Click on that and then we'll have release 1.15.2 forge. Click on that and yours might not be here at the top. You might have to scroll down but mine's right here at the top. Click on that. Release 1.15.2 forge. And then in the bottom right we can click on the green create button. Now we'll have at the very, very bottom a new profile, in our case called play.breakdowncraft.com. And what we want to do is as long as it says 1.15.2 dash forge under it, we can come over here and click the green play button on the right hand side. Now finally, Minecraft is going to open and we can get Botania installed. All of this point has kind of been leading up to getting this mod set up and installed, but it's one of those things. If you do all the preparation that we've done on the front end very, very well, it's going to be very, very simple to install the mod. So as you can see, we are loading things up here. And once we are on the Minecraft main menu, it's as easy as clicking a few buttons and dragging and dropping to get these mods installed. So let's go ahead and click on this Mods tab here. So from the Minecraft main menu, click on the Mods tab. And then in the bottom left, you have this Open Mods folder button here. See that Open Mods folder button? Click on that. And then in here, you will have nothing. But what you want to do is take Botania, the Curios Forge API, and the Patch Olio Lee mod? I can't say it. Anyway, you take all three of the things we've downloaded other than Forge and drag and drop them into the mods folder. So there we have Botania, Curios, and Patch all dragged and dropped into the mods folder. Now if you come back to Minecraft, these are going to be here. You can click done, you can click on the mods folder again. They're not going to show up. You need to quit the game. So go ahead and quit, click quit game. 
open up the Minecraft launcher again. This time though, it's super easy. In the bottom left, you should have this profile selected already. It should say 1.15.2 forge there. If it doesn't, click that and select it. However, ours does, so click play. Now it's going to open up and actually we'll be able to see all these mods installed here. As you can see, there it is, Curios, Botania, and then the patch mod there, all installed, all good, all working, all awesome. And that means it's going to work at this point. Like there's nothing stopping it from opening up and getting everything rocking and rolling. So as you can see, it says constructing five mods. That means it's working as well because there's two mods by default that are always there. And then you have the three that we installed. And here we are in the Minecraft main menu. If we click on the mods tab, we will see Curios API. We will see about Sandy, and then we will see the patch mod there. And then last but not least, we can go ahead and of course, create our new world. So we're gonna name this Botania. And I don't think you have to choose a world type for this. Yeah, no, we can just use a default world type. And I am going to allow cheats because that makes things easier and then create the world. So now it's gonna load up a new world. I'm gonna do a quick jump cut until this world is created and then we'll be done. All right, and here we are in game in Minecraft 1.15.2. First thing, we're gonna spawn in some bees just to prove that it is 1.15.2. There we go, no denying that. Now we come over here, we're gonna have Botania. So here is the Lexica Botania that we were talking about. Now there's the upgraded version as well, right? So this is kind of the starter version and I think that's the upgraded look sort of a version. Anyway, if you open this up, you'll be able to see everything here. As you can see, all the different progress and every, it's, it's all here, right? It is all in here. Everything that you can do, everything that you can set up. It is a lot, but it is a ton of fun. So as you can see, a welcome to Botania. It gives you a complete overview of the mod and kind of what you can do to get started. Now, if you do want to get this um, on the mod page, it shows you how to get it in vanilla Minecraft if you don't want to spawn it in like we did. But we can see some of the other stuff here. We've got all these cool plants, you know, all these cool different like, you know, things you can get from the plants. It is a magic mod, but it is also a really, really cool. I mean, as you can see, there's wand of the forest. I don't, I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what it is. But nevertheless, look at all these cool plants that you can get, and all these do have different droppings and different things that you can get from them. Um, yeah, I mean, it's overwhelming. All the stuff that you can make and do from this mod, as you can see, I mean, just it keeps going and 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 going of all the stuff. There's even these custom cool blocks and things that you can get. I mean, you can build stuff, for example, out of some of these custom blocks here so yeah all this awesome stuff really really cool and very much so a mod that is worth trying out in 1.15.2 um and again the lexica botania is going to walk you through everything this is going to show you everything you need to know about this mod which is something so unique on a mod so complex and with so much stuff in it it's awesome to have a guide built-in game like that so nevertheless enjoy this mod hope you all enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more awesome minecraft tutorials and content every single day of the week and of course come join us on the best minecraft server in the multiverse play.breakdowncraft.com we have again incredible grief protected survival on our medieval survival server it's grief protected with 30 custom quests and a player-based economy on our aquatic survival server it's a slash shop based economy with more lax redstone rules and just a ton of fun over there and then we do have custom skyblock with finch gens op enchants and and custom islands and then we do have factions with just pvp rating it's encouraged everything is custom and factions we have touched it all it is awesome you will love it literally there's so much i can't really go over it all here mob coins custom enchants special custom tools build wands all, all sorts of stuff it, it's awesome so come play with this play breakdowncraft.com is the ip and i cannot wait to see you online but nevertheless my name is nick this has been the breakdown thank you so so much for watching and i am out peace